Well, we're walking again, Carol and I, and I realized in the video I did with the cemetery here in Ajijic, Jalisco, Mexico, that we had walked from the carretera towards the lake and all of the graves, we were looking at the back side of them, not the front side of them. And I never really thought about that until I was editing the video and saw that I had um, just videoed the back of them as we walked through here. So we're walking again and decided to walk forward. Uh, what I think of forward, it's like from the lake towards the highway. And it's more colorful. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. This is the um, worst time of the year to be looking at the cemetery here, or any cemetery in Mexico, because we are three weeks away from Dias de la Muerte, um, the Days of the Dead, when the families come and fix up the graves and sit with the dearly departed, with all of the dearly departed's favorite things, and sit here and commune with them. So, uh, what I mean to say is that this stuff will all get fixed up very beautifully and colorfully and new flowers and everything in the next few weeks in preparation for Dias del Muerte. I guess while I'm walking through here, I could tell you a couple of stories about my own family and graves. You want to tell them that there is no map to this? Uh, Carol says to tell you there is no map for this. Nobody knows where anybody is. Well, each family knows where each where family place. member is, yeah. But there are lots of graves that are left untended. Well, there's nobody left in the family that cares enough to take care of it. And this great this the cemetery is completely filled. So what they what they're going to have to do is uh, dig dig up whatever. Or just stack them up. You have to decide who you want to be with. <laughs> no, I think they I think they I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know. You I was walking through here, pick a name. So I was gonna tell you a couple of stories. Um, when my father was interred, my family has some plots up in Rapid City, South Dakota, and um, mom and dad have plots next to each other, and as we sat at the graveside, uh, before the casket was lowered into the ground, my mother leaned over to me and said, they're burying him in my side. There is a standardized thing about the wife being on either the left or the right, I don't remember which is which, um, to the husband. And she had given specific directions to the funeral home to do that in the non-standard arrangement um, because they lived in Brownsville, Texas for many, many, many years after they retired. And there was always kind of a contention between mom and dad about moving back north to South Dakota, which they finally did. Anyway, um, I didn't realize at the time during the funeral, I just told mom, hey, you know, I know they're putting him in the wrong place, but this is not the time to talk about it. Uh, I didn't realize how big a deal it was to her. 
We went back the next day to talk to the powers that be at the cemetery and explain the situation to them that he had been... This is kind of like a maze, isn't it, Carol? This is a maze, <laughs> yes. So here's somebody that's uh, planted some new flowers in preparation for right. cleaning things up. Anyway, we went back to the uh, cemetery office and told her, and she said, well, you have to get a court order for to exhume the body. You have to get a what? A court order to exhume the body. But that they would take care of all of that. <laughs> what is this? And um, it would take some time. As we were walking away from the office and my mother was crying a little bit, it was at that point that I really realized how important this was to her. And she said something, which is why I'm telling you the story. And it's about my mother. She said, this has to get done because it can't be my fault that he is four feet farther south <laughs> after arguing about coming back north for all those years. So that's one story. And the other story is when my uh, grandmother died and she's she's uh, buried in uh, winter South Dakota and grandpa passed uh, many years before her and when they went to inter grandma Carol's resting they went to inter grandma next to him they realized that when Grandpa was interred, um, they started a new row. Well, he wasn't buried in exactly the right place. And his headstone was sitting on his chest. What? An American grave. An American grave. No. Well, and so his head was sticking out in the walkway. Um, and uh, we never moved that situation. Loving husband, J. Stuart Todd. You know, I think I heard that name before. He was... I don't know, I have to look it up. Two thousand and five. Hmm. Uh it may not look like it, but we are being very careful <laughs> not to step on anybody here. Well, those are my family stories about um, dearly departed ones being put in the cemetery. You missed my stories about my family. You're going to have to watch my YouTube video. Fortunately, you showed it to me before. Oh. Um, yeah, that's why I had to start a YouTube channel to get new friends that hadn't heard my stories. You got a story? Uh, Say what? Uh, Alan and I Here, just walk along with me and tell me. Okay, Alan and I were 
Alan and I went to Chicago to see his mother's grave. Alan was Carol's husband. husband. Um, I don't know if that's what you were at the time, right? Well, I can edit it out if we don't like it. Okay. And um, it was a Jewish cemetery. Uh huh. Where she was buried, of course. Uh, and it was the when she died. Uh, what, what year was it? Maybe by nineteen forty-ish. Nineteen forty-two. It was a custom to have a picture on the grave of the person. Yes. So all the people next to her, all the graves next to her also had pictures. But in every single grave with a picture, there was a shot S in the eyes. Somebody shot the... Huh. So somebody walked through there with a the pistol and decided to... Okay. Yeah? Oh, in 1940, a Jewish cemetery. Ah, uh, well, it makes more sense. It doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry, I, 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 you know that's not what I meant. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I think the door is this way. Birds of Paradise. There's where you buy bricks. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.